Hey lovelies, it's Imogen and welcome to this video. Today I am bringing you a month in my scribbles that matter. So first of all, I really like the paper. I like the idea. I love that it's B6. And I did do a little video of unboxing this and I talked about the 120 gram paper, etc. I will have a video either going up just before or just after this one, which will have some swatching that I did in the back. And you'll have to bear with me a little bit because I'm still full of a head cold. So, Scribbles That Matter I've ha is had some incidents, let's say. Uh, first of all, I wasn't particularly impressed with this. It has got a little bit damaged there from literally just being used slash on the table. I'm not sure what this bump is here either. So it does have a little bit of wear and um, we're only a month in and it hasn't even been like in my bag or outside or taken anywhere. The back is more worse for wear than the front. It has these scuff marks um, and the faux leather is quite damaged. There was glue here but this has happened where it's actually ripped the book and you can, if I undo the, the elastic and pull backwards, you can actually properly see inside the book. Which I'm not particularly happy about and I wrote to Scribbles That Matter and I told them about it and they gave me a discount code and an apology and said that I should email them all the like pictures and stuff and I'm just basically waiting for them to get back to me about that. So that's the negatives. <laughs> Overall, I have loved this. I did add my little black and white clownfish that I got when we went on my anniversary date with my partner. And I've featured him on my Instagram quite a fair bit. And then if we open up, uh, I haven't got too far with this. I just basically did this. I was going to put something on here, but then I wasn't sure if I was going to put a plastic cover on this so that I could put things on here. So this is literally as far as I've got with this. I basically took this frame, I cut it out on my Cricut, I then cut the, cause there was a skeleton dude on the inside, I cut him out of it. I then edited and printed out this photo of me, stuck that in there. When the stamp set came with the little banner, I stamped that there and I wrote my name in it. I didn't do too well writing my name in it. I was trying to make it a little bit more central, but I like it as far as first pages go. And then we turn over and I have got this. Now what this is going to be, is it going to be a key. So no matter where I am inside my book, I can see my key and that's my plan. And then I've just got this little guy in the post and I'm going to do a, a die cut of like this little white skeleton in there. But I die cut this and I made this and then I stamped white on top of it. It is, as I said before, the B6 120 GSM. If we turn this, we have my index, which actually needs updating. Then we have a couple of pages of that. Then I have this, which I've just uh, used some clear sticky notes to cover over the private parts, but I just went crazy with stamping and stamped a whole bunch of different stamp sets. And then I used two different label makers, the Brother and the Dymo. And yeah, it's just a few words or pictures that I feel represent me or I wanted to represent me this year. Ooh. Then we get on to the calendar. So the calendar stamping didn't work out too well and I did end up stamping these little cup images onto card, cutting them out and then using my Xyron to make them into stickers. So we just have um, important dates this year and room to add more. So I didn't really show you the cups. Though. So 
So there's this sort of spiderwebby one with the ghost, and then the snow whitish one, and then this sort of headwig one, and this brainy one, with zombie brains. And then over here we have Sugar and Scream, uh, whatever this is. And there's a bat one with a little pumpkin and like a sort of a, a glass pitcher one with a little stirry cocktail stick. Then there's this cat one, a ghost one, this one that's got like the mushrooms on the cup and then the one that was Jack Skeleton so I figured that made the most sense for December. And then I have got a future me problems and I am no good at choreography. That's supposed to be an F but I don't think it is, it's like a capital C. Maybe one day she'll get there. And then there's another one there. Uh, there was one, I don't know if you spied it. There was one here, the Witch's Brew one, I did on this page as well. So then I left a whole bunch of blanks because I wanted to do some trackers and some year at a glance and some photos and some memory stuff. And so I just kind of left a whole chunk of blank so that we could add stuff. I didn't realise I left so much blank. A lot of blank. This is way more blank than I thought I'd done. Okay, so I have a January title page. This is it. This is just January title page. I wrote it on a... I can't even get it up. I wrote it on a clear sticky note and I stuck it there to do remind me that that's where January started. And then I just never did a title page, but I kind of like it being like, just like that. Okay, so I tried a couple of different layouts. So first of all, I tried doing like a downward layout. Then I tried doing, this is the most popular layout that I do where I have typically my week here. Like I actually did it on two, but normally I just have the week here and then notes and trackers. And then same again, but instead of having these long ones, I did little boxes for Saturday and Sunday. And then this week I did a similar thing, but I did the whole week on the side. Then I did the last three days of January on this side. And I also did some stamping and I don't know, I liked it, I didn't like it. It is what it is, but that's this week. And then I created this and I just literally finished filming and then realized that I didn't press record on this. so. There was no filming of me doing this and I was so proud of my little clownfish drawings. Um, and February, I think I did a little bit better writing February out, but by no means am I any kind of expert at all. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just trying. But I liked how it looked and I love my little clownfish, so that's all that matters there. And then I have done the, the rest of this week. Um, which is the, first, the beginning of February. So I've just done the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do notes and shopping. And that is literally a month in. Uh, I did forget to mention that I distressed all the edges of my book. So when you actually look at the uh, page edges, oh, this is also fun, by the way. When you look at the page edges, it's black. And I quite like how that looks. And then I created this little measuring guide for marking out on the grid because my book didn't come with one. And then I just folded this so that it stays in there because it's a little bit too big to go in the pocket, but I didn't want it to just be floating around inside my book. And then as, I, as you would have seen in the previous or the next video, whichever, one it, whichever way around it goes, I did do some swatching of some inks. And this is where I tore out that bit for the bookmark. So I just use that as a little tab to write on. I will probably do like a proper pen test page, like a title page for pen testing. Um, but yeah, so this is like sort of my first month in this and I love, I want to love it because it is such a cute size and the paper is white and I think it's white. Um, here's another dot grid notebook that I just have to hand. And you can see how not white that is. And it does bother me that this is not white because I was going to turn this into a diary, but it's just going to annoy me that it's not white. <sighs> so yeah, I may be being a little bit of a white snob. So I'm quite happy overall. There are just like, I say, a few things. I wish 
um, this cover held up better. I don't know how to even try and fix this. It is what it is and I don't know if it's going to last for the whole year as I'd hoped or what is going to happen but it for now at least I am trying to get a little bit more organized and a little bit more productive and proactive so yeah so that is sort of that um I'm not going to go into a deep delve with this because I'm just not I think I do want to get like a little some like little containers or something for these two so I can hold like say fountain pen inks and I don't know what to put on this side. Maybe I'll put like keep my sticky notes in this bit, maybe. But for now, I'm quite pleased with it. I did do a little video of how I added this Wednesday Adams charm bracelet from AliExpress, and then it's got this acetate thing here for pens, some pens back here. These are new pens that I've not yet tested. Uh, I did only want the white and the silver um pentel paint markers. But it was actually cheaper to get the the one the it was actually cheaper to get the gold with the silver and the white as well so they've just come so i'm gonna try them later and then this is just a regular bag handle and then also on my instagram i showed how i altered this my little wednesday doll there is a keyring hanging out up here because I do have inside. Just a quick look, I have some clear sticky notes. And when I do find my mild liners and my tombos, I plan to put the grey ones in here. That's, I think, my, my planning. But yeah, so I'm really happy with these. And this isn't just for um, doing this stuff. This is for my other planning stuff as well. And also my anti-planner by Danny but yeah sorry happy so far really happy with how this is looking with my little Nevermore pin and also I've got this little pumpkin pin but he's not really big enough to really hold paper but he is just big enough to sort of sit on there I suppose and then I did have my Karami pen uh, Karami um Book, metal bookmark she was in there but I am going to get a Karami Kimball and use it as a business planner and then she's going to go in that and then I think that's where I'm going to go with this so for now she's just sort of in here so she doesn't get damaged along with these little scissor things so yeah right I'm going to go because I've already taken up way too much of your time and I hope you like this little look at my first month and it's better, I don't know, like the Lowstreamers etc have held up way better for me, but I'm same with the Rodeas, but both of them don't have white paper and they are like 80, 90 GSM, whereas this is 120 GSM and I'm really enjoying that. I am glad that I didn't go for the 160 DSM because I just think it's a bit overkill. I think that would be a bit much. But then swatching those inks in the back, perhaps it would have been better to go with the 160 because then I could stamp without worry or what have you. But to be honest, I don't care. I don't really care about ghosting and bleeding and that kind of stuff because it makes me feel more grungy. And the whole point of distress inking the whole, like all the edges of every single page was that I didn't want that fear of white blank page messing up and then feeling like I couldn't be creative because what if I messed up? What if I made a mistake? What if? And then it's permanent and it's in this book and, and then my brain runs away with me. So it is what it is. I'm happy with what it is. And yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram.